Okay, hello, my name is uh, Victoria, I'm from Hungary, and let me introduce you the European Union and its citizenship uh, with a few questions. First, I'm introducing Nicola and um, Martina from Poland and Renata from Hungary. Hi. Hi. Uh, first question, what do we know about the European Union? We know that the European Union is an economic and a political union of 27 member states that are located in Europe. Okay, that's quite good. And uh, can you tell me the 27 states? Yes, of course. In the first, Austria. Second is Belgium. Um, Bulgaria. Cyprus. Czech Republic. Um, I think it's Denmark. Mm, Estonia. Uh, Finland. France. Germany. Uh, Greece. Um, Hungary, Ireland, uh, Italy, yes. Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malta, mm, Netherlands, uh, Poland, of and course, of course, Portugal, mm, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, uh, Sweden, and of course United Kingdom. Okay, uh, after hearing the 27 states, my third question is, uh, what is about the citizenship of the European Union? Nicolas will talk about it. I think European uh, citizenship is to, nas uh, to na nas national citizenship and afford rights uh, such as the right uh, to vote in a European election, the right to free movement, settlements and uh, employment across the European Union. Okay, and uh, can you tell me the most important steps in the history of the European citizenship? Uh, Maastricht Treaty. Treaty of Amsterdam. Treaty of Paris. Treaty of Rome. European Court of Justice. Treaty on the functioning of the European Union. <laughs> So we uh, made interviews with other people and strangers, and these are the interviews. Okay. Ähm, für mich bedeutet Europabürger zu sein, einfach ein, äh, ein Teil von einem, von einem großen Ganzen zu sein, der sich zusammen gerauft hat, zusammen gefunden hat in, na, in den letzten 60, 50, 60 Jahren. Und ich finde, das ist die, mit die größte Errungenschaft, die wir in, der letzten, in den letzten 100 Jahren erzielt haben in Europa. Vorher haben wir alle 20 Jahre Krieg gehabt und mittlerweile leben wir doch friedlich zusammen und im Gro stehen wir ja doch alle füreinander ein und das gefällt mir ganz gut. gut. Soll ich die Frage wiederholen? Ja. Was bedeutet für Sie persönlich, Europabürgerin zu sein? Nichts Besonderes. War die Antwort. Okay, danke. Ja, dass man besser arbeiten kann, mehr Möglichkeiten hat als Ausland, sage ich mal jetzt. Ne? Das ist schon eine tolle Sache. Ne? So, uh, it's I think uh, good to know each other. Um, different, uh, we are different people and um, we are uh, colorful and uh, and we have uh, different cultures and uh, and we we are just um, happy together <laughs> so what uh, is your opinion about europe and european citizenship uh, the european union uh, as from an american perspective i think it's a good idea because you have so many countries so many small countries and it's a way to sort of bring them all together so all these different cultures and ideas uh, currencies and whatnot can um, kind of be centralized. Um, in America, we have one country with 50 states, but in Europe, you have you know one area with I don't know 30 or more 40, 50 countries. Yes. So it's one way to kind of bring them together. Um, the important thing, though, is we are they are all U European, but that they also retain their individual. Um, yeah, kind of national characteristics. So the people in Hungary or people in Germany still stay true to their roots, but at the same time work together to be one Europe. And I think that's kind of a cool idea to have. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Okay, what do you think about the European Union? 
the whole European Union, I think it's very difficult um, because uh, people from Hungary, for example, or uh, Polish people or Turkey people uh, have different um, different brains of Europe and of their living and the religion and all these things. And I think it's, it's very important to come together. But every country and every people of their own countries uh, have to do their own religion and their own um, uh, what is the, the, the word in English? Uh, their own culture. Ah, yes. And uh, what do you think about European citizenship? Why people uh, have to feel themselves Europeans? Oh. I don't know. I think um, young people, it's, it's, it's really easy for young people like you and me, for example. I'm also young people, 14 years old. And uh, I think it's really easy to come together because um, the borders are only in our head or in our brain and in uh, the land maps. But I think I can speak with you, you can speak with her and she can speak with me and we all understand yeah. yes of course yeah, we can uh, together easily we come together easily okay thank you and and it's very important to make parties with young people also <laughs> in the evening <laughs> thank, thank you, you. <laughs>